Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a full face project pen finale. I started this project in like December or something and it was fun to begin with because I didn't have that many project pens and I wasn't as busy and I didn't have any exams. Well, I had one. And then I started to finish off some products and it got more and more boring because I had blush and bronzer and highlight. They, those products takes forever if you project pen yourself. I had my internship, it took so much energy and then I didn't get to film the update and then I got into my final exams and then I'm just here now like I don't want to do this project anymore. I am using the products every single day and that I wear makeup at least. Also because I have a few projects coming up in, uh, in, a f in next week and the week after. So that is two more products plus this one and it's just too much for me. And I'm going to be very busy because I'm traveling most of uh, July. I don't want to bring that many products to Japan, so I'm going to do the finale. I'm sorry for the rambling, but it's going to be short anyway. I will just mention the products I have finished off beforehand. So I finished off my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer and my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation, my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, Benefit Gimme Brow, and my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and my W7 Lip Twister in Very Nude. So I have my uh, Project Pan Bullet Journal here. The first thing I want to update you guys on, or like conclude, I guess, is that I finished off my Women London Stay Matte Powder in the few months that I haven't updated. And I repressed my Dandelion Blush in this container from the Stay Matte Powder because I was just really, really tired of the square pans and it had hard pan uh, at the same time and it doesn't anymore it's wonderful i love using it i love the big surface so my fairy blush brush from real techniques can pick it up and it's so amazing i love it i have it on today every single day i wear makeup i'm wearing this so for the products i didn't finish i had my Benefit Hula Bronzer from my C palette here. I did hit pen in the past month and it is expanding every single day I use it. And I have only used this this year pretty much. I have like a handful of times used another bronzer to test it. This guy. Benefit High Beam. I have gone into the habit of using this and make it look nice because if you put it on top of powder it looks patchy. If. I have been in the routine because now I have a cream blush I'm working on to do something before my powder So I use this before my powder and the cream blush and I love it I use it on my nose, cupid's bow, on my cheekbones, you know I really really enjoy it, it goes so slowly, you don't need a lot But I have considered using it on my body when I go to Japan because it gives a really, really nice sheen. And I'm not that dark, so I think I could get away with it if I use it on my knees, you know, and my shoulders and my collarbone, and I don't wear these kind of tops. But I really, really like it. Just not going very fast. Then I have my MAC eyeshadow in Wedge, my single shadow, no pen. I thought I liked it. Let's say it like that. I don't really like it anymore. I'm so bored of these brown, mid-tone, cool shadows. I'm using it. I want to have pan on it. I want to get use out of it. Kind of enjoy it the way I do use it now, but on its own, it's just really boring. So I kind of regret buying that one. <laughs> and the last product I have is my P2 eyeliner. It is this beautiful burgundy eyeliner. It is the Intensive Coal Eyeliner, I think, in, in Impressive, where? Impressive Bolivia. So I will insert the picture here of where I am. I'm a little bit below that line, so it's kind of matching, but I use it every single time I use makeup on my lower lash line here in the outer corner. And I really, really like it to darken it up and it matches the Cherry Cordial shade in my panel palette very, very nicely. So that is really, really awesome. And I really love it and I 
like smudge it out with the smudger in the end and it looks it looks very nice that is my quick i think <laughs> finale for my full face project pen i'm just a little bored of this one so i'm really really looking forward to have some new and exciting project pens starting i try to do this for myself and do something that is not that themed but a little bit it got really boring because you got stuck with the hot products and I'm just like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> so I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys are doing well until my next video bye